I'm gonna build a dystopian society in this castle. We'll mine out a massive area, create elaborate contraptions, and figure out the lore of this world. So let's dig down and see how much room we have to play with. Okay, so this is definitely not deep enough. Let's go about five blocks lower. Okay, I lied. I kind of went down 15 blocks. And speaking of space, we have a problem. I can't build the interior of this until I terraform the whole hill. And as soon as I create the second hill over the first hill, I have to knock all these walls back, which means I can't build anything on them. So let me look up a couple of YouTube videos on how to terraform. So let's get to work. Oh God, so let's get to work. So I figured out three things you might want to know about. First thing is I've terraformed almost all of this hill. I'll get to that bit in a sec. And it honestly looks pretty good. I'm impressed with myself. The second part, which I'm really scared of, I don't actually have to go through I have to go through here. Not only do I have to carve out the outer shell, but now I have to carve out all these inner walls, which can be as high as 20 blocks. What the heck am I going to do with all that space? I guess we'll find out later in the video. So let's start mining this out. Okay, I've got a couple of updates for you. First of which is I filled in more of the mountain. And second, which I think you're gonna like, is this. Wow. Really puts it into perspective how much space this actually is. It's all done, look at that. Not my finest work, but hey, I'm learning. Do still need a way to get in and out though. So strange to look at as well. And I'm gonna have to knock all these walls back. So I'll see you when I get that done. And that is the last of it. Whoa, 56 chests is our entire mountain. Around 120 blocks coming across this way. And I have absolutely positively no idea what to do with it. Like seriously. What am I gonna do with all of this space? What am I gonna do with all this stone? Give me a sec so I can think of a plan. In fact, give me a sec to extend some of these walls. I've had a revelation, but before I can tell you, let me give you a progress update. I pulled this wall in a couple of blocks, made some designs for the corners, a really nice curve that leads to a central panel, and you're not gonna believe me, but I made the length and width of it 101 blocks by 101 blocks. And I will move the chests, they're just uh, hidden for a little. And now for the revelation. I've been struggling to think about what I want the design to look like, and then it hit me. I'm thinking of steampunk. All the cogs and levers and, and pipes and mechanicalness all over the place. Almost medieval futuristic, even though there's no electronics. Why does that look like a pair of eyes? Anyways, but also keeping it medieval with the castle and aqueducts and windmills. I'm gonna see what designs I can come up with. Starting with the lava farm that I made myself. And we need that lava farm to fill this super smelter, which looks very, very satisfying. And we need a place to store those smelted items. So I, I made a sorting system. I made um, I, made, I tried so hard to make a sorting system. I couldn't do it. I swear to God, I tried for like a week and a half and it's like, oh, I couldn't do it. So I looked one up online. I don't know who made the circuit for it, but I'll link the video where I got it. Starting with the super smelter that doesn't have that many, only like a, like a stack of furnaces. So it should be easy to complete. You know, so far this is really easy to build. Rapid fire updates. So I got the super smelter in, but it looks ugly. God, I don't know why I decided orange glass would be the best. So we're gonna switch to tinted glass to fit the theme. Problem is I'm gonna need amishard, amish, amishards? amethyst shards for it. So I went into replay mod, dug some holes and found some. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, that was a dumb idea. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I got a boatload here, which I'm really happy about. And I've decided to design for the color scheme and I'm very impressed, I like it. So let's craft up some glass and that's it. Two stacks, that's it, that's all I get. Oh God, oh, this is gonna be interesting. And after a lot of redesigning, I came up with this. I really like it, I'm really impressed with it. I think the shroom lights go perfectly with the deep slate and the tinted glass. I built an industrial pipe around the water source so it looks like it's shooting out lava. The idea is it's powered by this wheel right here. Honestly, I'm super impressed with it. And while I was off camera, I managed to build this. I'll save you the gobbledygook of redstone, it's a 
I'll save you the gobbledygook of redstone, it's a shulker unloader. It takes the items from the shulker box and sends it through the furnaces. And lastly, any lava that's either recycled or new will drop down into this hopper. If I wanted to fill this up with coal, I'd need around 400 stacks or 14 chests just to fill it all up. And I can't build the lava farm yet because my rocks aren't done growing. So sorting system it is. Okay, so we're only going to be sorting 32 items, but that should be plenty for us. I built a design and creative. I got the beacon set back up. I have the resources. Let's get digging. Oh, this puppy isn't going upstairs. No, that would distract from the beautiful centerpiece. So essentially we're creating a basement within a basement. Doesn't get more meta than that. Oh, I messed up. I built it too high. I think we have a pretty cool design coming along. So I may have gone slightly overboard but it was worth it to create 30 levels down. Now let's put the redstone in and destroy another Minecraft forest. In Minecraft, in Minecraft, I don't support this in real life, just, just letting you know. Okay, I finally managed to get all the chests in and that's very satisfying. You don't wanna know how long I spent getting wood. It was not fun. Now I can finally start designing what it's gonna look like. Maybe a ring like this? Hmm, I kinda like that. Kinda liking the design, but also not sure. So upon further consideration, I've decided to switch the hoppers with the chests. All of them. It's worth it, 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 it's worth it. Yes, I think this is looking much, much better. Now, I am very impressed with what I've come up with. I completely redesigned the way the chests work and made a very mesmerizing pattern when you go into Quake Pro. That's just weird. I may put some clockwork gears on the walls for world building. Honestly, I think it just looks too cool. I did a really cool thing. Made a water elevator that goes down and up by the push of a button. I also got the redstone in for the sorting system. I've decided on these blocks to sort. I don't know why, but this looks really aesthetic knowing it's all survival. Now that looks even cooler. I guess we just duck it all in and it'll sort itself. This feels wrong, but also oddly right. <laughs> that was cool. We have our sorting system. Our sorting system's done. We're done. I have an idea. If I do that, if I just break one. Holy lordy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's all sorting. What? Wait, it's stuck. What? Huh? Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, I messed up. Holy crap, I messed up. It is so broke. Oh my god. God, it is so broken. It should work! I just, why, why did it break? So apparently I'm an idiot. Put too many items in the hoppers so it unlocked the other hoppers. Hopefully now, there you go. All right, now that I start doing that, ugh, finally got it. But unfortunately, that's all I have time for. And if you want to see the rest, click to the video to the left or right. And if you don't see it, I'm working on it.